In this episode, I will be discussing the contents of the Barefoot Science Foot Strengthening System. Stay tuned. So just to give you a general, uh, general idea, they do have a very good uh, shipping uh, system. I was able to order it um, two days ago and I received it yesterday. So let's go ahead and open its contents. We have the Barefoot Science little box. Have some instructions. And here we have the actual insoles. And there's nothing else in the box. They are the official partners of the NHL, NHL and alumni, hockey's greatest uh, family. It's good to know. So in the insole, you can see that there is a little slot here where you will be uh, inserting uh, the different uh, types of inserts. And then if you look at it from a profile view, the actual insole has a raised bump right in the middle where you're uh, right in the middle of the foot. So the middle of the foot would sit right here. Um, and this is what eventually is going to strengthen uh, strengthen the, the muscles of the foot. And uh, you can see that we have both insoles. And it tells you whether it's the right or the left foot, just in case you don't know. Then let's see here, I'm assuming the inserts are going to be here and here they are. So it talks about different levels uh, of inserts. Barefoot science. So here we have starting from the red one, which is a level one. Then we have two oranges, which is a level two. We end up at a level three, which I was told that by a, at this level, you, your foot should already be comfortable enough um, that you should start seeing changes uh, in your body. Level four. And then you can see here, level five is a little bit different, a little bit wider. Level six, the insole, uh, the insert is a little bit softer, more pliable. And then level seven, it's, uh, it's bigger than the rest. And once again, it is a very soft, rubbery material. So that's kind of neat. That there. So you would pretty much insert it like that. You would put this inside your foot, inside your, well, not inside your foot, you would put this inside your shoe, and then your, your foot would go on it. Now I did read somewhere, oh, there's a sticker here too. There's a sticker at the back of the insert, I guess, so that it uh, doesn't just easily come off, but it's fairly tight in there, so I don't think you would, uh, you would need it. Here we have a better view of the actual insole. You can see that your heel would go right here, and then there's, there's a little bit of a um, little hill that goes into the, or a little bit of a, of a raise here on the insole, then goes into right of the middle of your foot right here. And then it kind of goes down and then eventually your toes 
would be here. This one that I got is the three quarter size. I did not want uh, a full length just because I can use it in different shoes. And then right here on your heel, you can see that you have a, uh, a padding, um, fairly soft. And then once again, the insert would go there. Now let's, let me put this right there. And then you can have a look at the different levels. You can see that from the level one to the level two, Actually, put this here. You can see from level one to level two, there's a little bit of a difference. And then level three is just slightly higher than level two. And then once again, level four is just slightly higher. And when you get to level five, tends to drop a little bit and then the actual insert gets wider so it would cover a wider area on the foot once again level six let me just put this maybe a little bit more over here so we can get a little bit more light And then once again, level six seems to kind of be maybe a little bit lower than five, but it does get a little bit, actually it doesn't even get wider, it kind of looks about the same. It looks to be about just slightly smaller than five. just seems to be a little bit smaller than five. And then obviously we have level seven where the actual base is a lot wider and longer than the rest. And then this part here always gotta be the same because it has to be able to fit right there. So as you can see, this will be the actual system. Like I said, I can't wait to actually start using it. And uh, yeah, let's get to it. I'll take some pictures of uh, the product. And then I'll let you guys see what my current um, orthotics that I actually use on my foot and my uh, like in my shoe to uh, what I thought was supposed to be uh, helping my foot. Uh, I'll show you what that looks like and then we'll compare it to the actual barefoot science insole and uh, we'll be able to see the difference. Check it out. All right, so I am going to put the barefoot science insoles on the side here. I am going to leave the inserts so that you can always have them there. Now, these are my actual orthotic. Um, this is where the heel would go. As you can see on this orthotic, there is no bump, okay? Um, now, for this orthotic, they had actually put right here uh, some sort of cushion that I've never actually had before. I was actually able to get used to that. That's not a, uh, wasn't a big deal. And then you can see once again, it is a three quarter length, just a little bit smaller than the actual barefoot science three quarter length, actually bigger than the barefoot science. Um, don't mind that white part. That's just actually, uh, talcum powder that I put on my inserts on my ins on my orthotics so that it doesn't uh, smell. So you can see that there's a 
very small padding. Um, and then you have this plastic part right here. You can see where they've actually ground some uh, you know, part of the plastic here for the, the heel. And then uh, you can see that, well, it bends a little bit. So the whole point of the orthotics is that it's supposed to give me support. Uh, oh, wrong side. It's supposed to give me support right here. So if I put this down, you can see how now I have my foot will be supported on the sides only. I am not a doctor, so I don't know exactly if it's the right thing or the wrong thing, but uh, I guess I'll find out once I actually start wearing the barefoot science insoles. Um, and then you can see, if I take this one out, uh, let me see, that is this foot here. It's a left. So if I put the left, what the barefoot science insole is supposed to do is supposed to raise the middle of my foot to start to um, strengthen the muscles of the foot. Uh, I was told by the, by the person that actually sells them that there's 40 muscles in the in the foot. Um, so then they will all be activated and will eventually, I guess from having a flat foot, would raise my foot like that. Um, this is what it looks like. I am actually going to take this out now. Put that there. You can see the difference. Hopefully you can see the difference right there. So put that one in front. Then we'll change it up. And then right there. And I'll put this out, put my other insole there. So you can see that on this side right here, this is where it kind of supposed to give me the support so that my foot is just not flat. Because I do have flat feet. And then if I can see, I mean, they're, they've been worn and they're starting to crack here. You can see this is the end of the actual plastic. So put that away. Go ahead back to the barefoot science insoles. So I mean the barefoot science insole is kind of like a, a thick foam. Uh, and then it does have the padding on the heel, so it doesn't have plastic. So we'll see how that goes once I actually start wearing it. Uh, but like I said, uh, it concentrates right. You can see it here better. It concentrates right in the middle of the foot with all those muscles, as opposed to concentrating on just the side of the foot. Okay, because once your foot sits on it, you can see how it'll raise this area right there. Okay, so if I put pressure right there, it still keeps this part raised, as opposed to if I go ahead and put pressure here. First of all, I can't really do that much, but I weigh about 175 pounds, and well, a lot of force go into it, and it only helps me right here, it keeps the rest of the foot actually flat. So like I said, we'll see how uh, it actually goes with the barefoot science insoles. Um, I will give uh, an actual uh, review of how uh, my feet feel, um, and then we'll go from there. I hope you stay tuned. Thank you.